and welcome to the electrification of motorcycles. Now, some of you may be really happy about this, some of you not as much. But either way, it has begun. Now, is this the first electric motorcycle I've ridden? It's a yes and no. No, because I have tried others. And yes, because this is more a motorcycle than the others have been. With the rear brake on your feet and also the shape, the center of gravity, the way it handles, more on that later. But for now, the ultraviolet F77 aims to capture the imagination of the type of rider which prefers something like the KTM RC or the Duke, for example. Can it though? So we're here in Bangalore on this go-kart track. And after this, we're heading to the Nandi Hills to find the answer exactly to that question. <laughs> Electric two-wheelers have instant torque, that's very basic. But the way the ultraviolet F77 delivers that torque, the throttle response is rather gradual. Now there are three ride modes, uh, the glide, combat and ballistic. I had a chance to try all three of them and there's a little bit of a straight on this track where I could pin open the throttle. Now the great thing here is that even when you just pin open the throttle, it does not really try to yank your arms off so the calibration on the throttle response has been done really well to say one thing there is ample power it is fairly quick and the way it handles now this is a very tight track which means you have to be tippy toey on the foot pegs and be switching directions quite constantly so there is a lot of weight to deal with because of this the battery pack the largest one will also be quite a heavy component on the bike and you can feel it when you switch directions from left to right or when you're hard on the brake you do feel that shift of weight happen but even so the chassis definitely supports enthusiasm in your riding style if you're going to ride like that like i mentioned you do deal with the weight but even so the bike feels very quick off the line and is also forgiving in a way because the throttle response has been calibrated well the suspension is on the stiffer side, which is better for performance on a track like this. The brakes, the brakes need a mention here. Um, the rear one is very responsive and the front one is the kind you can completely rely on. The suspension is also adjustable for preload front and rear. Now, let me just take a seat um, so I can show you the ergonomics on this bike. The seat height is 800 mm. That's not really too tall. Um, the ergonomics, well, when, how you're sitting on the bike is, it's quite committed. Like even if first look of the bike and you will know that it will expect commitment from you. Um, on the track, you're leaning forwards, but even on the road, which I haven't ridden yet, and I will tell you more about that later on, but I feel there's quite a lot of weight that falls on your wrists. Overall, the F77 looks very well put together. It feels very well put together. You're jumping on the brakes. I feel absolutely no weaving happening, which I have experienced on a couple of electric motorcycles, to say the least. Right, about what it looks like. Well, this is a really cool, sporty looking motorcycle. There's no doubt about it. A lot of manufacturers say that their um, vehicle picks design inspiration from the aviation industry and from jet fighters but this one pretty much does bring it in reality with the kind of fairing it has and these little winglets the detailing is very aviation um, inspired uh, and I agree with that the build the fit and finish uh, the switch gear looks nice it's been done well um, the covers on the forks and the tail everything has been finished well although there may be some quality concerns because i can already hear a little bit of noises coming from here and there when you know you're rolling at really low speeds and you can't really hear the whine of the motor then you focus on those sounds and when you're free rolling you can hear those sounds so probably um there is a little bit of a quality 
uh, concern that will be fixed eventually. So for the rider, this is not a comfort oriented motorcycle. So it's not going to be a very comfortable place to be, I reckon, uh, especially with the committed riding stance. And for the pillion rider, uh, I don't really see any grab handle over here or at the rear. So I'm not really sure if they're going to be very comfortable or just latch on to the rider in that case. Uh, and the finishing on the tail, I can see a lot of gaps here. Uh, apart from very tiny things here and there, it looks great. But then this cover for the charging port could have been done better. It's actually very flimsy. But overall, the bike does look really cool. So this was about the experience on the track, uh, which is always limited. We need to find out more about what the F77 is like on the street. So we're going to head to Nandi Hills and that's where I'll talk to you about the range, which is very important on an electric bike. So we are now on, at the Nandi Hills and it's been a bit of an incline. So I want to talk to you about how the F77 responds to twisties and also the incline. Well, twisties we covered on the track and it responds quite well, despite having to deal with all that weight. And on the incline, we'll just slip it in combat or ballistic mode and you have a lot of power. So you could be using just 20% of your throttle and it will just keep gliding. There is absolutely no complaints whatsoever on, in fact, a petrol bikes. And I never want to say anything against them. You do have to downshift. And that is something you just don't have to do on the F77. Now, let me talk to you about the reverse mode on this bike. Well, it's nothing new. A lot of electric two wheelers do have the reverse mode, but why it came in handy well, I'm on an incline right now and if I have to do a U-turn here, it's slightly difficult for me because this is a hefty motorcycle and my feet don't really touch the ground flat. So all you have to do is pull on the front brake, long press the O button and you get the reverse mode, which means you can just simply throttle it back, press it again and throttle forwards. Now this is very, very relevant when you have to push the bike up on an incline or maybe if it's too heavy for you, to pull out of a parking situation. So the reverse mode makes a lot of sense on this bike. Other features, well, you get a nicely, tastefully designed uh, color TFT uh, instrument cluster, which you can control with this very substantial switch gear. Now let's get to the most important part of it, the range of the motorcycle. Now this is 307 kilometers. Well, that's in ideal conditions that ultraviolet have tested. But then on the road, you're going to be using a mix of all three modes. You'll at times be at ballistic, which uses maximum power. So it also drains the maximum power. Then you could be in the glide mode, which uses less of it and so and so forth. So a, a mix of it, it should be somewhere around 250. And even if that happens, I think it's a great number to begin with. Charging, well, there is a boost charger that you can simply buy and plug in in your house. And that offers a charging rate of 75 kilometers per hour. And that's been done in your house. So if that does happen, it's a good number to start with. So there are essentially two variants, the original and the one you see here. And this is the Recon, which has a larger battery capacity, a greater range. The original offers somewhere around 207 kilometers of range on one full charge, but that's also ideal conditions. This is also more expensive than the original, as it would be because it is offering a lot more range than the original. Uh, colors, the one you see here is laser, more race oriented uh, color scheme. Then there's a darker one, shadow, and there's also airstrike if you'd like to be more flamboyant. So to sum it all up, the F77. Well, considering that this motorcycle comes from a startup in Bangalore and everything that you see here has been done in-house, as we've been told, it is a genuinely impressive electric motorcycle. In fact, it is one of the most impressive that I have been able to ride and tell you about so far. The upsides of it, well, it looks great. It handles well, it is quick. The range, well, it has the largest battery pack. So it means it could deliver the highest range in the country as well. 
It is a tad expensive, sure it is, but then you could sit down and do the maths since you'll never have to pay for petrol, but that's maths that I, we will not get into right now, but that is something to consider, definitely, if you're going to go for an electric motorcycle. The F77, with what it aims to deliver, this could be something like um, Zero Motorcycles or Energica that we've heard about. Maybe this could be the brand that takes electric motorcycles from India and perhaps maybe it'll be on sale in national markets because we've been told the company is aiming for the export markets. That was about the upside. Now, uh, downsides about the bike. Well, this is a proper sports motorcycle and it definitely leaves you happy on the racetrack. But then you put it on the street and you might feel the suspension setup is a tad too firm to take on undulations, the kind that we have at least in India. It's an electric and this is a very electric vehicle thing. It's not just restricted to F77. There is no engine, there are no vibrations. So you get to listen to everything that's happening on the bike. You hear the braking before you feel it. You can hear the tire roll, you can hear the wheels roll. So you're going to have to keep your bike super duper clean if you want to keep those noises at bay. As a total package, I would say that this has definitely made me happy riding around Nandi Hills and also on the racetrack. That did not happen with a lot of electric two-wheelers that I have ridden so far. Tell us what you think about it in the comments below. If you do like the video, hit like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.